Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max episode 104. Abraham Lincoln must die. I'm Nye. Hi, and this is my guest, wide but not painful. I was gonna say, and this is take four. Yes, but I stole the opening from you. Ha, oh, there ha, you go. Ha. So I'm calling it take four because that is literally how many times we've had to do this. The first take was perfect. It was fantastic. It was amazing. We beat the game. Everything was good. And the footage similarly got corrupted and didn't work. Take two and three was us trying to figure out exactly which save point was the correct one, and this is take four. So the war room is open, the war song has been sung, and we need to go figure out what the hell is going on inside the war room, why it's uh, so private. I gotta say, I do like that uh, Max walks with his hands behind his back like that. Very uh, totalitarian Very leader. Eventually. I like totalitarian leader myself. Yeah. So we have, um, this is always worrying to see in a war room. We got maps, the Dakota situation, and there's a dunce cap on a chair in the corner. Yeah, of all things. It's, it's not the fact that it's there. It's the question of who was wearing it last and why. I'm gonna go with George Bush because he deserves it. Okay, we're not gonna po bring co politics into it. I say it was Peepers. The whole game is politics. In the White House you are the president. Jimmy, two, two. It doesn't we get much more politic than that. Band. No, no, no. Jimmy's the politics is in the past. It's over with. It's done with. We're not bringing it up now. For the aged and if the politics uh, is in the present, it's fine. If it's in the past, it's the problem. Max is still president. Your argument... Hell, you're about to murder Abe Lincoln. No, I'm not. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm doing no such thing. I'm destroying a gigantic mech in the shape of Abraham Lincoln. I think you just hate democracy. No. But I do hate politics. Hey, look, cookies! It's a plate of fancy cookies. Can I have them? For the discriminating general with a no can has and a not free. Why can't I have cookies? Can I have coffee? Well, you see, you want a man loves a chicken. Anyway, viewers, if you don't get that joke, good. You've only used it so many times. I know. Okay, we have the that's war the manual the here. Of war. Select target, press fire. Oh, that's helpful. That's it says. Okay, what's the monitor do? Click Please button, get win. I love that safe. word, hoo-ha's. Oh my. Okay, I think we've done everything that does not involve pressing this really big red button. So we got a targeting computer here. Looks like a remote homing beacon in the fridge in Antarctic. So, so what it targets. You wanna blow it up? You Apparently the fridge in Antarctic. So should I press this very large and meaningful red button? Only if you want to render penguins extinct. There's penguins in Brazil. Fire! Very special tonight? You or not monster, Brazil. those are a different species. Oh well. Holy crap, it's the Washington Monument. Who would have suspected the Washington Ooh, Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles? Everyone! Everyone would have guessed. Than corny innuendo for once. And trance? I wonder if this will have a significant impact on our I'm no system. more killing a Blinken than My I just fired already. off a gigantic copy of a president's dick at someone. Well, yes, it wasn't meant to be a copy of his dick, and there was no one that, well, we those poor researchers, but... Ah, well, yes. I, I mean, mine well, isn't like in the shape of an obelisk, I don't know about you. The lazy yeah, yours is more in the shape of, uh... Yeah, we're, we're, we're stopping there. So, I'm I not allowed to fire at the Kremlin. say it's Exodia, to. but... Then we'll just have to do this the slow way. That Back would have been load, a bit Sam. geeky. We're off to Red Square! Are we going to lift the ballistic missile and walk it to the Kremlin? There should be a game like that. Uh, there is something kind of. It's called Blast Core, and it's generally considered to be one of the greatest games produced. I remember Blast Core. Yeah, it was a great game. Lots of fun. No, it sucked until you got to the moon. No. And then the game just goes, <laughs> You did it. We don't care anymore. It only sucked if you were bad at it. I thought it was ludicrously fun. I was seven. Ah. Yeah, I sucked at it. By the way, this is Krypton, which, um, if memory serves me right, that's where Batman's from. Let's blow it up. Oh, no, no, no you moron. It's the X-Men. Oh, okay. You will bow down before me. 
So we have fired a missile at Krypton, and it will take 26 million years to get there. Oh well. I'm sure we can get it on DVR. Next target. Hey, look! Well, what do you know? It's Bosco's Inconvenience Store. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Well, he Dude, wonder if that missile redirector he installed will be of You're use. Right. I'm really curious. Out. Well, he did say it was a redirector. Hopefully, he'll be, you know, a good Samaritan and fire it at uh, Abe Lincoln. Fire! Attention, Bosco shoppers. Clean up I don't know why we would thing. fire it at Bosco anyways, because apparently one of our friends... So here's our obelisk. His adventure game, and he's a cheating ripoff y dick. That too. Would you look that, that didn't Bosco look so like much like a redirector as a missile well, interception free, device. You're safe. But, but then the question on. becomes if all that did was intercept and destroy the missile, why? Well, obviously, because Bosco does not want to be blown up. No, I mean, why did you have to do that to continue Whee! the game when it apparently does? Fuck all. I think it's there to show you that that beacon actually works. This is a guess I'm making, but uh, I think they wanted you to fire partly to see if you would, because you would want to, obviously. And yeah, to get your hands on the beacon, that makes sense. Because if they didn't show you it was there, you wouldn't know the beacon is in Bosco's store. But if they show you it's there and don't let you fire the missile, all of a sudden they're, you know, stopping you from rolling on the floor laughing. Where you know, that thing? brings to mind an interesting statement. Back to the office. Shotgun. We keep saying beacon, and now all I can think about is that it's not actually like a, like a beacon, but rather it's a strip of bacon and you're just talking about it like a Jamaican lady, you know, eh, come get the beacon. No. Anyway. No. No. Delicious However, bacon. what I it could see is, I could see Mavis Beacon teaches you how to fire off an intercontinental ballistic missile. <laughs> That's so <laughs> ludicrous! What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> it fits better than yours does. No, well, it doesn't! It, it's even that dumber! In a good way! I, I, I sometimes hate that you, Nye. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> The so here's the question. I, if to be or not to be, if I hadn't actually, Buy one, get if one. I hadn't actually what fired the know? missile or even looked at that camera, would that beacon still have been there? I don't think so. This is an adventure game, after all. So the question is, which event spawned the beacon? Probably launching it at Bosco. But we already know it's there by that point. Because we've seen it on yes. camera, we know it's there at that point. True. Hmm. Where Maybe you just launched it to be a dick. After that rampaging. Yes. You know, I think I have to say that Max is the one that pressed the button. I don't think Sam was involved when it happened. Well, that's a given. I think Sam would. Well, he was part of that. But I think Max would maul Sam if he tried to prevent him from being the one who pressed the button. Hmm. Ah well. So this is really easy. I have to do but one thing and like, one thing for my country. Press that button. Press that button. Yay, violence! The cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Okay, so there's the beacon. It's, it's on Abraham Lincoln. Let's shoot Chuckles. The bullets have no effect. I'm not shooting Abraham Lincoln. I'm shooting Chuckles. They have no, no shoot Chuckles. Chuckles. Chuckles is clearly immortal. Apparently. Okay, megaphone. Pull over. <laughs> we have you surrounded. Lincoln smash. Lincoln smash. I don't think he's willing to negotiate. <laughs> Lincoln Superman. Smash. Unacceptable. <laughs> this is wonderful. I can't get over the phrase Lincoln Smash. Lincoln. No, no, no. Mr. Lincoln, pacify your soul to the magic of prismatology. Well, you found the one thing he and I agree on. Wow. Any other good ones? No. Okay. What happens if I honk the horn? Anything? Okay. 
Off to the White House! Which is conveniently to the left, like every other location that we need to get to in Salmon Max. No, clearly he's a UPS driver, only he was really bad at it. Reference that's not proccing, huh? UPS nope. driver? I don't know. Ah, okay. What I do know Were is you that trying fish to say NASCAR driver? No, it's uh one delivery company is only legally allowed to make right turns, I believe. Which one is it? It's right turns or left? I think it's right. It, it's not a legal thing. That's the wrong word. It looks like the targeting beacon is. I'm bad at English. This is a pretty impressive so, tantrum. So here's a question. At this rate, you'll have enslaved all of DC and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. Should obviously yeah, know what that beacon is. Still, I think we should. He obviously saw us plant it because we saw do. him turn around and reach for it. So why is he so? unworried about the fact that it's currently planted to his ride. He doesn't think you actually have any nukes. I mean, he knows fucking Max. What are the chances of any nukes being left after he's had his hands on him? Exactly one in one. Fire! Well, yes, we know that, but he doesn't. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Wait, the president performs the only duty we care little. about. We don't want to miss this. <laughs> duty. And I do like that Sam has the very, very important comment of, we don't want to miss this impact. So now we're right up and close to when the intercontin uh, intercontinental ballistic missile will land. Within the blast radius, I would say. That's not good. It's so bad, it turned him into the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Oh man, they totally should have done a Dukes of Hazard Dukes of Hazard reference. Uh, like you, it's a bit too easy. Nah, well there you go. Well, it looks like the country is saved, at least for mass hypnosis. What do you want? Though I will say, Max should put on the hat. Sounds fun, but I was far too big for him. And and then have a little target. He wouldn't fit on his head. And Sam, you're my best friend. Agent and he Max looks better at Mauve. Right. Max could totally yeah. construct some Force sort of thing with the help of Bosco to hold it on. Yes, but Error. he would cost at Error. the current scale. Also, look, our Error. new Error. villain. Error. Our new villain is Inspector Gadget. No, no, no. Obviously, obviously, that's not a G. No, that's a broken nine. A broken nine. Yes the villain's name, Broken Nines. So he's a very bad golfer? Yeah, sure. Let's let's go with that. So our new villain is a really bad golfer named Broken Nines. Yep. Trance, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Probably I mean, somewhat moist. Okay, then. Well, I gotta say one thing. We were uh, a little off in our predictions on exactly how this one would end. Just a little bit. Wiggle it. Because we thought we would be uh, using the missile on Bosco to redirect Abraham Lincoln. It didn't quite end up that way. Correct. We were close. I must say, however, I like the current end result of all of this. A gigantic uh, pile of marshmallow in the middle of Main Street? Yes. By the way, unfortunately, folks, we did check. Maxforpresident.org was taken down some time ago. Yeah. It was unfortunately not there. We tried. Oh, well, guys. That was fun. I think we actually have a recording now, so I should have something to show you guys whenever we upload this. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll see you guys next time. If you can think of something that we should have done to finish this episode up, because I think we did everything. But if you have a comment, leave it in the comments section. If you liked this episode and want to see more, hit like. And if you want to see me come up with, um, I don't know, some more jokes to end the episodes with instead of doing this generic thing I'm doing now, hit subscribe and hopefully I'll get around to it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. And remember, kids, 
Never, ever, ever kiss a lobster. I learned that one the hard way.